If you ask me, this phone is actually pushing the design limit of budget phones, especially at $200. And I love it. So Kaupe, who is the CEO of Nothing, actually has this philosophy. Take a listen. All these brands put a lot of care and love into the flagship products, mm -hmm. the most expensive products. For everything below, they kind of don't really care. So it's true. Most phone manufacturing companies actually dedicate more resources to their high-end phones or flagships, and they actually leave their low-end phones or budget phones to buy the dust. They really don't pay attention to it, and they tend to leave consumers who buy that phone with less to expect and less to take home. But I think this philosophy by nothing is actually going to be their trump card. Okay, so the most interesting thing about the phone here is actually the design and the functionality or thoughts behind the design. So the thoughts behind the design is where I think most people actually got it wrong or misconceptualized it in a certain way. So let me give you my thoughts about it. So first of all, the back is plastic. Obviously, this is a budget phone. Having a plastic body is nothing new. It's expected. But the back panel can easily be removed or taken off with the SIM ejector tool which comes in the box which also serves as a flathead screwdriver to you know assist you in taking off the screws so first of all why would you want to take off the back panel of your phone let me break it down so here it's plastic plastic is actually flexible plastic if you watch mkbd's video it's very flexible it's not hard plastic that easily breaks it's plastic, it's not glass. So it would make sense to make the back panel of your phone easily removable if it's a glass because you know glass breaks easily and you know getting the glass back panel of your phone fixed would actually cost you more. But with plastic, it's more durable and this is a flexible plastic as well. So why would you want to open your phone in the first place? The only thing that degrades with time in your phone is actually the battery. So if you were to open your phone, it means you're actually changing the battery. Aside as I don't know why you don't want to open your phone. But this phone is actually modular. So the next reason why the back panel is actually removable is to give you that freedom and modularity. So instead of just slapping on a skin or a phone case on this phone, you can actually unscrew the back panel and replace it with a different panel. It actually comes in different colors. We have the blue, we have the lemon green or so and black and other colors and it actually costs five dollars if you want to change the plastic back panel you have to buy separately from their website let's get back so the second point here is modularity and you know and freedom so now you can change the back panel of your phone to suit the color you want rather than having a phone case or a phone skin that is cool but i don't really think that hits the point Aside that you can actually do a lot it actually has a prop stand which you can actually fit on the knob down there so you can have it as a phone stand when you are watching a video or a movie or something like that so the back panel also has a lot of functionality you can actually attach for a budget phone at that price point you can actually attach a wallet to it you can even use magsafe with it it doesn't have wireless charging though but you can actually do a lot with it but does that justify the reason why the back of the phone should be like that it's it's 50 50 for me if you ask me and that even brings a few problems and besides the battery is not easily removable by the way it's fixed like other phone manufacturers fix their batteries in there so now that the phone can easily be popped open as always it comes with its own drawbacks and disadvantages so disadvantage number one is so it's actually ip52 rated okay some budget phones at that price point do not have an IP rating to even begin with. But the question now is, since you can physically open the back panel of your phone so easily with screws, that raises some questions about protection or let's say ingress protection. So with the IP52, the 5 is for dust and the 2 is actually for liquid or water protection. So with the 5, it's normal, even some mid-range phones have ip5 ratings for dust protection and there's no issue with that but when it comes to the water protection two is not too safe it makes sense so now when you open your phone you're actually 
exposing the inner parts or the inner circuit of your phone to the outside world and this makes the cmf phone one not too guarded when it comes to splashes water and you know, moisture in general and even gets worse imagine if you misplace a screw or you fail to tightly screw in a screw you're actually making your phone liable to damage which would then mean you have to actually pay more if you were to suffer water damage on that phone so on one end it makes sense it's, it's it's a nice design it has some functionality but on another end it comes with its own issues but we can bundle all these things together and say it's a piece of art i like it i'll keep in mind not to send my phone close to water and things like that it's it's a win for me it's a win for me but i don't really think other reviewers are making it known to you that it's not such as safe as as other phones are okay it's not that safe against water and water especially so keep your phone safe don't get it close to water and don't be opening it too much come on i know it's fun you might want to mess around with it but don't do, just keep that in mind also the back panel actually costs 35 dollars and if let's say i wanted to change the color of my phone i think i could easily get a phone case that costs less than that I just slap it on my phone and this even gives added protection depending on the phone case you buy so why would i spend an extra 35 dollars to get a back a new colored back plate for my phone when i can get a phone case for less with added protection let's put that aside and let's talk about the next one so what Calpe said about smartphone companies dedicating more resources to their high-end phones or flagships it's true it makes a lot of sense so here is where i think nothing has an edge as compared to other phones so the software which is nothing os 2.6 that is being used on the nothing phone 2 or their high-end phones is the same os that is found on this budget phone cmf1 and and it's a win for people who are getting this phone and now because they're actually getting the full software experience which the high-end phones of nothing also have. And this is something you will not get on other phone manufacturers at that point. Okay, so speaking of OS, you get two years of major OS update and you get three years of security update. This is something you will also not get on a budget phone at that price. It's not very common. And I think there's a full package coming from nothing. And I'm glad we have that here. So looking at all these things, the phone is already winning, but you should take caution. So with extras, this phone is actually packed. So if I am to have $200 now, I think the CMF phone one is the phone I'll get for obvious reasons. And let me take you to the extras. So first of all, the screen is a 6.67 inch screen. That is common, large screen, tall phone, nothing wrong with that. It's AMOLED. Yes, the screen is AMOLED and AMOLED at $200 is not common as well that is also another win and also it has support for hdr 10 plus content massive 2000 nits of peak brightness solid and very much welcome obviously the bezels is something we should expect and i still work with that one too as well also this phone comes with an sd card slot and it's actually upgradable to up to two terabytes of storage so you could actually get the base model of the CMF phone one and you could just slot in your SD card to get more storage. Okay, so moving on to cameras, it doesn't actually have a dual camera. It's actually just one. The other camera on top is actually for depth sensing to help you when it comes to portrait. At a cost of $200, obviously the cameras are not going to be top notch. I'd say they are average, they are okay, but the cameras are not actually the strength of this phone. What makes this phone special is the design, the modularity of the design, the thoughts behind the design of the phone, and the software. All these things come together and they make this phone so unique and so worthy of your $200. And if you ask me, I think this phone is a clear win for the budget tier of phones. And it's a, it's a welcome addition to the budget tier.
we are happy we got this device from nothing and we are expecting more from you guys a very beautiful and nice product if you ask me so if you made it this far i'm tony Elvis. subscribe share leave a comment and let's get interactive down there as well i'll see you guys later